من خير في اتباع من سلف وكل شر في ابتداء كن سلفيا على الجاده سلفيا على الجاده نمبر 7 نمبر 8 اوكي نمبر 8 از الغضب الشديد اذا تكلم في رموزهم بحق ورد على ما هم عليه من البدع that the people of innovation and desires they are people that are connected to personalities and this is something khwani fi that I, we've noticed in the west and even amongst the ranks of the salafis you'll find people connected to personalities more than the haq so a person's whole a young man's whole religion revolves around one particular da'i or two particular du'at ikhwan fi Allah Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he says man kana minkum mustannan falyastanna biman qad mat fa'inna al-hayy la tu'man alayhi al-fitna fa'inna al-hayy la tu'man alayhi al-fitna he says whoever wants to follow someone if you want to make someone as a, uh, you want someone to be an example for you then follow those who have died for the one who is alive is still prone to falling into fitna ulaika ashabu muhammad then he referred to the sahaba radhiyallahu ta'ala alayhim so ikhwan fi Allah these people are connected to personalities you remove the personalities and you remove the whole madhab whereas the salafis ahl sunnah wal jamaa are connected to the haq la shak fi dhalik we follow the example of our ulama and scholars but do we follow the example of our ulama and scholars because they are called sheikh ibn baz sheikh salih al because they, of the tribe that they belong to because of their shakhs because of their personality or because of the fact that they follow the haq and the truth we love them because they follow the haq and the truth we f- we follow the example because they follow the example of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay but we don't blindly follow them and we're not uh, we don't believe al isma fihim we don't believe that they're infallible whereas the the issue of personalities is that your deen and religion is con- is connected to that particular individual person so when that person makes an error or a mistake طيب, you then and and the haq has been clarified to you that this person has made an error satata'assab lahu you will have ta'assub lahu you will you will you will get angry you will become uh, you yani you will have hatred for anyone who who speaks about that particular mistake why because you're not defending the haq anymore the truth anymore now you're defending that particular personality which is not from the manhaj of ahl sunnah wal jamaa so the people of innovation you'll see that they become extremely angry the people of desires they become extremely angry when certain groups are named and shamed and refuted such as ikhwan muslimin sururiya you'll see them saying things like it's not from the maslaha nowadays to speak about these matters why do you speak about these particular issues there's no maslaha there's no benefit in it there's no hikma in it there's no mada hikma in it so they get extremely angry or oh, why are you speaking about this particular like hasan al why why are you teaching the people or refuting this particular person why are you mentioning his mistakes and his akhta so they get particularly angry abu bakr ibn ayyash a man came to him radiyallahu rahimahu allah ta'ala and he said ya abu bakr man is sunni oh abu bakr man is sunni who is the sunni listen to this response he said alladhi idha dhukirat al ahwa lam yaghdab li shay'in minha the sunni is the one when innovations and are mentioned or refuted la yaghdab he doesn't get angry he doesn't matter get angry that's the sunni okay so if innovations are mentioned or spoken about if the person becomes angry hadha yadullu ala anna fi qalbihi inhiraf wa zayg wa dalal if the person becomes angry after innovations have been refuted after the people after the mistakes have been refuted بعلم وعدل وانصاف ونصيحه with knowledge and adl of course not uh, we're not talking about uh, cussing and swearing and la we're talking about refutation بعلم طيب if this person gets starts to get angry then this is an evidence and proof that that person's heart there is inhiraf and there is mada a deviation and misguidance in that person is heart so this is mentioned in kitab al-shari'a lil ajri sheikh abd salam al-barjis mu'alliqan ala hadha yani commenting on this he says lima Why does he not get angry? لأنه ليس له أي انتماء إلا إلى السنة. This person has no allegiance except to the Sunnah. طيب. فلا. So he's not. His allegiance is not to the message. Just is not to that markaz, that hizb, that group of people. This individual. لا. 
his allegiance is matter to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He says, فَلَا يُؤَثِّرْ فِيهِ طَعْنْ عَلَى الْأَهْوَاءِ So the ta'an and, and, and uh, refuting uh, desires and the people of desires doesn't really affect him. Okay, or refuting the books of the people of desires doesn't affect him, he doesn't get angry. So if you're refuting, for example, the books of Sayyid Qutb, the sayings, the statements of Muhammad, uh, of Ibn Surur, مثلا, he doesn't get angry, he doesn't try to defend them indirectly. Okay, this is something, inshallah ta'ala, that you should, you should know. فكن على نهج سبيل السلف في مجمع عليه أو مختلف وتابع الصالح ممن سلف وجانب البدعة ممن خلف فكل خير